Hello and welcome to this video. My name is David Thorne. In this Next.js uh, video, we're going to be talking about how to handle that dreaded page not found scenario. Uh, when someone literally navigates to your website, you uh, using an arbitrary page just to see whether it exists. And uh, how do you belt, how do you, how can you handle this? Well, if just to show you a quick example of this, you see that if we create a page of page not found, so forward slash 404, it comes up here saying this page could not be found. Now, in all fairness, this is quite a nice error message or at least a page to show. But if what if you want to be able to customize this and where on the Next.js website does it talk about how to change this? So before I tell, show you how to do it, I'm going to quickly show you where the problems were trying to find this. Now, when you come onto the, 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 the page here, if we come to up in the beginning, and you'll look through and you'll think, oh, okay, routing, defining routes, page layouts, link it out, oh, error handling, that seems pretty good. Error JS allows you to gracefully handle unexpected runtime errors in nested routes. You're thinking, okay, that sounds pretty good. React to error boundary, or well, this is experimental, so let's not use that. And then you can think, oh, okay, create an error JS. Well, this is actually only for errors, okay? And a 404, 404 is, a, is a file not found, all right? So it's not technically an error. All right, and so you look in here thinking, where is where actually is this? Now, do I have to do it by dynamic routes or something? Well, so after after actually searching here for 404, you find the not found JS here, and it's actually within inside of this file conventions page. So if we come to this, and you'll see all the different file like the layouts, and then the page, and then the root, and so on. This this different file, and so it's actually in uh, this file that we need to go and as you can see here we can just export a not found page so let's go ahead and do that shall we let's just come in here and at the top level we're just going to say not found dot tsx and we'll just say export default function and we're just going to say page because it is a page and we're just going to return here and we're going to say page not found all right and we just we just come back to here and refresh it and now you can see we've got our page not found so we don't have to worry about whether or not something happens like this and and uh yeah if someone decides to come to your website and put any rubbish in it it's going to gracefully ch um fail on this now this is important to do is that if someone's fishing to see what pages actually exist and don't exist and whether they can pump any errors out of your website and uh, it's always important to try and handle one errors and two page not founds by showing the exact information that you decide to show. Um, yeah, because that's what should happen. Or, um, anyway, this was just a, a quick introduction to you to how you can do this. And as you can see that this can uh, this can go really at any level on it if you've got a a a, a sub page where you want to use it from there, um, then it will. So let's just. Let's just um, try this, shall we? So if we've got contact and we come under, let's say contact and uh, us here, and we'll see whether this actually works. So contact us page not found. And uh, okay, maybe that's, all right, so it seems that it's only at the top level that it should be working. She's a render with to learn. Okay, so it handles for the whole application. Yeah. All right, so the the file not found is for the whole application so you don't have to do it uh, like that anyway with that said this is just a, a brief introduction to show you how to handle 404s um, gracefully inside of your next js app thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video ciao ciao goodbye